And it's a great pleasure to introduce a friend, a, a very original character here, Mars Robertson, uh, who is going to ask the question, is the world ready for a peaceful revolution? Or is it an evolution? Mars is a blockchain connoisseur, a creator, a visionary, and, uh, and, and a great character. <laughs> Over to you, Mars. I, I prefer not asking the question whether the world is ready, but actually come with a clear roadmap because this is a self-terminating system. Uh, it was once a civilization and we are on the path to extinction. Uh, no one is in charge, no one knows what's going on. That's why a peaceful revolution. These are a couple of images of how we see a revolution traditionally usually there was some force. That's why I need to emphasize this is a peaceful revolution. And I do not like the definition from Google. Why the heck they put forcible here? No, revolution means revolutionary, groundbreaking, fundamental, radical of the charts. So this is where we are right now. After World War II, the US was the global superpower. We lived in the Pax Americana now. Well, China is the raising power. This is another checkpoint where we are with the climate emergency. These are not some hippie eco zealots uh, living in caves. This is a majority of a Western developed world. So climate emergency is happening. And the United Nations Security Council is not fit for purpose. United Nations were established in 45 after World War II. And yeah, we need to change it. And the final slide is global interconnected risk, meta crisis, poly crisis, everything crisis, all these crises are compounding each other, including societal polarization. Because how can we tell what is real? How can you define real? Google controls the message, a few guys control the media. We live in a polarized world, but this is optimistic. Radical change is possible. Like a Great Reset was a very radical plan that got you know conspiracy theories, everything. But actually, uh, we can build a better system. I'm not fighting the reality. I am following the Buckminster Fuller principles. We are just let's build a better system. And step one, unified narrative. That's kind of obvious. We need to start to believe that the radical change is possible. Abundant food, water, energy, healthcare, education, housing, there is enough capacity for humans to live in prosperity. Uh, unify, this is a major movement, uh, synchronized meditation, Guinness World Record. And uh, this, this is already happening. These guys are doing this for a decade. There are multiple representatives here. And these are some ideas. Where can we do it? Earth Day, boom. Opening of the Olympics. Traditionally, during the Olympics, there was no war. How cool is that? International Peace Day. That's also a very good day to <laughs> shake up the world. This is also a good idea. Let's do a peace treaty. That's politically acceptable. And also rewrite some lines on the map because Kurdistan, Kashmir, these are like inflection points. So we need to resolve the uh, drama and we need to ask for help. The big tech, these guys programming consciousness, uh, they feed us, you know, advertisement, profit, toxic system, etc. But we need to ask for help. And these are also some kind of obvious, I mean, I don't want to read the slide. This is obvious. The current system, based on debt, is, needs to change. This is non-negotiable. This is kind of obvious. And this is also kind of obvious, like Kyoto Protocol emission trading system designed in the 90s with a completely different set of circumstances and a different state of climate knowledge. So this is absolutely non-negotiable. And uh, this is also kind of obvious. It's like, why? What's the problem? It's basically different countries have different regulations regarding to nature. So we need to equal the playing field by changing the law internationally so there is no uh, arbitrage. I'm actually coming to the end. If you can scan this QR code, Planetary Council, uh, this is the 
you know, superseding the United Nations, building the new system. And I genuinely believe that it is possible. The radical change is possible. And just like this guy said, well, 10x is easier than 10% because we are operating in a new paradigm where there's no artificial limits, where we shape the narrative. And I actually believe it is happening. The change is now. And I'm very grateful for being this vehicle, catalyst, conduit of change. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Maz. Thank you so much. Yeah, original thinker, and I appreciate it, Maz. So next up, we have um, 